Today we're looking at a different type of Microsoft Teams device. Um, so it's a wearable device from a company called Realware and it's their HMT1 headset. So we've got a um, got one of the headsets here. Um, see it's got a, uh, this is like a headband so um, yep so just you pop that over your head we've got a little eyepiece here um, so I'll position that sort of in front of my eye just sort of um, in front but below my eye so I can look over the top of it um, and then glance back down when I look when I look at the screen so and there's a camera here um, so the camera is in line with my eye so the idea is that when we're on a team's call uh, the camera is showing the remote participants exactly what I can see so the kind of time I might use this, maybe if I'm on site, I'm doing a survey, um, I don't have the, the experts that with me there on site, but they can be sitting remotely on a Teams call um, and they can be directing me on site. Um, I've got both my hands free, so I should be able to work sort of unobstructed. So if I put the device on and I just position the eyepiece, I say, and I'm just going to position it just so that when I glance down, I can see what's on the screen. Now, everything I can see on the screen here is actually repeated up behind me. Um, so I'm using a piece of software um, called Realware Explorer. That enables me to stream all of the content from the headset uh, directly to, to this screen here. So we're going to take a look. To start, we're just going to have a little look around the device, give you an idea of how it works. <clears throat> and then we'll look more specifically at Microsoft Teams. So. Okay, so let's just go into the first application. My camera. Right, and now you can see as I'm looking around the room, okay, the, the headset is seeing what I'm seeing. And I've got some, uh, I've got some other features in here. Zoom level five. Zoom level three. Zoom level one. Take photo, preview. So you can see I just navigated through. I took a photo. I've, this, I've got the preview up of the photo now. Navigate back, and I'm back to my video feed. But hopefully, you get an idea of the voice activation. I'm just stating the command, typically, the command I can see on screen somewhere in front of me. Um, and Nine times out of ten, I'm, I'm just going straight, you know, it, it's working and um, and the voice activation is working. There is the odd time, and I'm sure it'll happen in this demo, that um, I maybe have to state the commands a second time or sometimes even a third time. But um, I think a bit of practice, I'm probably getting better at doing it and just being quite clear with the commands. Navigate home. So that's just to give you a feel of, of the basic navigation around the device. Um, but say we want to look specifically at, uh, at Teams. My programs. And I can see here as I move my head left to right, it's actually navigating through my applications. I've got Microsoft Teams installed on here. I've got uh, Zoom installed on here. I, I don't have it installed, but I could have uh, Cisco uh, WebEx Teams installed on here. Um, it's Android. There's, um, there's a whole host of applications I can, can run on it. That said, the applications um, have been customised. Um, so Microsoft do support this with Teams, and this is a customised version of uh, Teams. But you'll see when we go into it, it, it has very much the look and feel of, uh, of the Android Teams client. Teams. Okay, so we've come into a screen here. Um, it's showing my meetings. There's a meeting scheduled for now, so I'd be able to join it. Um, before I do that, though, my calls. So I can go into my uh, call history. Um, I can return any of those calls. I could just make a new call. It would just be a point-to-point -point Teams call. Um, but I won't do that now. Let's go back into my meetings and um, and we'll join we'll join a, a Teams meeting I've got scheduled. My meetings. Join. Okay, and at this point I've joined the, the Teams call. So as I'm looking around the room, anybody on the call would be able to see exactly what I can see. Now what's slightly unusual here is for me, uh, my view, normally when I join a, join a Teams call, I would see the remote participants on the call. 
Um, because I'm expecting them to guide me to, you know, to say, okay, I want to see that, that picture or, you know, show me the camera. Um, it's really helpful for me that I can actually see exactly what my camera is pointing at. If I do want to see the other people on the call, I can just stop my video feed. So let's just quickly do that. Turn video off. Okay, and having stopped my camera, I'm now through my eyepiece here. I can see the Teams video coming from the, the other end. So I'm actually joined from a laptop in front of me here. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting the video from there, but hopefully you get the idea. Turn video on. Okay, so it's really quite straightforward. Leave meeting. Navigate home. Navigate home. Okay, so we're right back at the starting point again, and I'm just going to step through that again just very quickly, just to just to try and really show you, you know, sort of just stress that point about how easy it is to um, is, you know to use this in the Teams meeting. My programs, Teams, my meetings, join. Okay, and here we are again, back in the uh, back in the meeting. Now, I typically set these meetings up as channel meetings. Um, the advantage I find from doing that is that if I record the um, the meeting, which I often do if it's say a site survey, um, then you know the recording, which I can you know I can easily happily do in Teams, um, is then saved in the channel. So along with any other content I might have related to that project, I just go back to the channel. Um, and I see my meeting there, and I see the, the recording taken from it. Leave meeting. Navigate home. So hopefully that just gives a, an overview of just how nice and easy it is to use this device in, um, in Microsoft Teams.